Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over another problem in our derivative collection. We're going to be focusing on how to find the derivative of cosecant square x. Before we get started, we're going to uh, do a real quick review on our rules, on some rules that are necessary in order to um, differentiate the problem presented earlier. Okay, so let's do a real quick rules review. Now, um, the following rules have to be kept in mind in order to be able to do the problems. The first one has to do with writing powers of trigonometric functions. So let's say you have cosecant, um, cosecant to the nth power of x. Cosecant to the nth power of x is basically the composite function uh, cosecant x. The composite function cosecant x raised to the nth power, okay? All right, and then you have to remember your differentiation rules, of course. You have to remember your power rule, x to the n prime is n, x to the n minus one. You have to remember your rules for differentiating trigonometric functions, so cosecant x. The derivative of cosecant x is negative cotangent x cosecant x. And um, you also have to remember the chain rule for differentiating composite functions. So if you have a composite function f of g of x and you desire to find the derivative, you just find the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner times the derivative of the inner function. All right, so these are the three, four rules that we're going to be using in the problem solving process for today. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and rewrite the problem. Problem is as follows. If uh, y is equal to cosecant square x, we're to find dy dx or y prime. Okay. All right, now, if we take a look at the function we're differentiating, y equals cosecant square x, this is a composite function. Is it obvious? Is it clear to see what the composition is? The answer is no. Let's rewrite the, this um, trig function raised to a power in this format. y equals cosecant square x is the same thing as the function cosecant x raised to the second power. The same thing, okay, as indicated earlier. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, if you have let's say sine to the third theta, for instance, this is the same thing as sine theta raised to the third power. Writing it like this makes it easy to decompose and apply the chain rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that to decompose. We're going to identify our outer function. Let's call that f of x. Our outer function is the quadratic function x squared. And then our inner function is the trigonometric function. g of x is cosecant x. Now we are ready to proceed with the chain rule. So in order to apply the chain rule here, we need to have the derivative of the outer function, f prime of x. Applying the power rule here, we have 2x. So we evaluate that at the inner function. And we also need to know what the derivative of the inner function is since we are going to multiply the answer by the derivative of the inner function. So uh, using the rules that we went over, the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosec cotangent x cosecant x. Or you can say cosecant x cotangent x, it doesn't make a difference. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, rewrite the chain rule. So the chain rule is as follows. If you have, if you want to find um, f composed with g of x prime, what you're going to do is you find the derivative of the outer function, evaluate it at the inner function, and then multiply your answer by the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so we have all the ingredients we need for the chain rule here. 
So just to give you a visual, we're going to take the inner function and plug it into the outer function. That's the f prime of g of x component. And then we're going to multiply our answer by the derivative of the inner function, which is the g prime of x component. Okay? So dy dx is going to be f of x, which is 2x, but instead of 2 times x, we have 2. We'll plug in the inner function, cosecant x for x, okay? And then multiply that by the derivative of the inner function, which is negative cotangent x cosecant x. Let's go ahead and simplify our answer to get the final result. So dy dx, so minus, this is plus, so minus times plus is minus 2 uh, cotangent x. And we can multiply, um, we can multiply cosecant and cosecant, okay? Cosecant times cosecant is cosecant quantity square x, but we want to write it using the standard notation, so that's going to be cosecant square x, all right? So that is the derivative of cosecant square x. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of differentiation, then give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions, comments, um, or requests concerning uh, differentiation problems you'd like to see us do, go ahead and post those in the comments section below, and we'll be more than glad to assist you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for um, more of the problems in our derivative collection and other um, calculus tutorials. More support resources and the entire collection can be found at mathcoserve.com. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.